Presidential elections are zero-sum games, especially for the campaign staff that work tirelessly to advance their candidates. For 30 days, I worked alongside eight presidential campaign staffers. In-depth interviews with them supplemented my ethnographic research and provided um, personal accounts of their campaign experiences. These two qualitative approaches helped me examine why presidential campaign staff remain committed to their jobs given the extensive sacrifices involved. My study focuses on the emotional energy experienced by presidential campaign staff. Emotional energy is the energy someone gets from participating in repeated social rituals. Emotional energy requires four elements. Physical co-presence, barriers to outsiders, mutual focus of attention, and shared mood. These four elements can combine and have uh, four outcomes. Group solidarity, by practically spending all day together, the presidential campaign staff became very close, and in interviews, they cited uh, group solidarity as the main motivator for remaining in the presidential campaign staff. The second one is uh, <laughs> individual, uh, an, an oh, sorry. Individual extreme emotions. So the campaign uh, was very stressful, and they experienced highs and lows every single day, a lot of lows. So when their candidate did well in the debates and polls, they celebrated. And when their candidate did not, they were devastated. Another thing that uh, arose was group symbols that represent the group. So. Throughout their time, the campaign staff developed references in jokes that only they understood, and so outsiders were not able to. And the last thing, or the last outcome, is a sense of morality. So their shared goal of having their candidate elected and win the primary uh, motivated them to get together, unite, and uh, just increase the sense of camaraderie. So my project on emotional uh, energy adds to the existing literature on how uh, human motivation is formed, especially in regards to remaining in the presidential campaign. My data supports the concept of emotional energy as a mechanism for uh, creating a group membership and, uh, by boosting morale and community. Emotional energy is an everyday phenomenon and can be seen in many daily interactions. How do you experience emotional energy? Thank you.